Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardmas Prime here doing another Marvel Legends toy review on Marvel Legends. First appearance, Spider-Man from the Sentinel series. Uh, this is a Spider-Man figure uh, that I think has been reviewed the most on YouTube than any other Spider-Man figure. So I'm going to try to make this review really, really quick because I honestly don't think I have a whole lot of new information to offer. Uh, he came in the Sentinel series. He came with the torso piece. Um... I think he was probably one of the more abundant ones at the time. Um, but the figure is really, really cool. First appearance, Spider-Man. Um, some really cool things about it, like the um, like that uh, Spider-Man 2 movie series Spider-Man. This has like the webbing um, etched into uh, the actual plastic. It's part of the mold. Um, but you could, you know, I like the old school Spider-Man logo. This is very, 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 very cool with the small eyes. Very first appearance, Spider-Man looking. Very dark blue, um, as, as opposed to more contemporary brighter blue. It's, you know, almost like a, like a midnight blue. Um, so it kind of looks black, but no, it's blue. Um, and the articulation of this thing is really cool as well. Now, um, my one complaint that I have for this guy is that, um, it, well, it's not even really a complaint. I don't know why I like to complain about these things. I, I'm really into them. But um, is his armpit webbing, you know, this is a very, you know, classic Spider-Man thing, I don't like having this on, I just, just don't like it, so, um, just for the sake of the review, I put it on, but I prefer to have it off, so he's got these loops, these elastic loops that go on the, on the different parts of the figure, so, I'm just going to take all of those off, now, I actually have two of these, um, one of them um, I I got in New York, and the other one um, that I got uh, Solid Snake in my pants gave it to me. So thank you, Solid, for the uh, for the extra Spidey. I cannot use enough Spider-Man figures. Very very cool, of you. I think he was missing some fingers, but not a big deal at all. Okay, so anyway, um, so you can see the back logo right there. Very old school. Nice. He's got a whole peg in the back. He comes with a display stand right here. Okay, so it just fits right in there like that, so you can get Spidey, you know, to do all his stuffs, just, you know, all his stuffs, yeah. Um, articulation, pretty cool. I wish the, uh, the head tilts back, I was going to say I wish it could tilt back more, but that's pretty far back. So there's the head, moves down pretty well, side to side, right? He's got um, a little bit, he's got that armpit joint in there, he's got ball joint right here on the top. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, forearm joint right there, wrist moves up and down. Um, very, very cool. Individual finger articulation. I'm a huge fan of that. I've mentioned that many times before, but I like the individual finger articulation. The fist doesn't look that bad. You know, as a fist, it doesn't look that bad. And of course, like, you know, you can get him into his whipping pose. See? So, very cool. I like that a lot. Um... Same thing on the other side. The hands have the same poses on each side. He's got a torso joint. I wish the torso joint could bend a little bit more. It has this thing where it doesn't stay when you press down. So it, see how it just bounces back up? So that kind of sucks. Does yeah. So the torso joint is a little frustrating. I feel like I'm going to break it if I keep messing with it. Good waist joint. Ball joint on the thighs. Um, just lost some paint right there. Uh, swivel on the top of the thigh. Double jointed knee, uh, calf joint, uh, got this twist thing on the ankle, which I'm always a big fan of. Um, ankle moves up and down as well, and he's got his toe joints like that. Uh, one thing I just forgot to mention while I was talking about, um, going back to the pink detailing, he doesn't really have any shading or anything as far as the red parts go. And actually on this part, you could see where, um, this may be on some of yours, maybe not, uh, where... The actual grooves of the plastic and the painted black lines don't match up. I just noticed it only on this right side, but on the rest of the figure it's cool. But on the right leg over here, the webbing on the the black webbing and the and the molded webbing don't match. Um, there's no paint detailing on the red whatsoever. It's just a flat red with the lines. And then, um, but the black has a really cool light. Or the black, it's the blue, um, has like a light gray kind of fade going on like on the muscle tones and everything so it looks really neat and there's even he's got like these little wrinkles in his in his tights that is kinda neat it makes it more realistic to me you know he's got these wrinkles in here so I think it's very cool very cool figure pick him up if you get a chance uh... that's all I got to say about that first appearance spider-man
check it out. Later.